Seb Drake, who's a builder and lives in Gatwick. At the moment, his van is not suitable for what he needs. He's after a pickup truck, plenty of load space and a cab big enough to carry his family about him. His budget is up to around £16,000, so what vehicles have we picked for him? Hi Seb, nice to meet you. Hi. So what is it you want a pickup truck for then? I need it for work, I need it for pulling power. Yeah. Um, carry a lot of stuff about from time to time? I do, I've got a, a van, but I really need a pickup truck. Just literally to pull, to drop things off, big van, difficult park, yeah, whereas amazing. something like this would be ideal. And it's a bit different as well, isn't it? It is a bit different. I've never actually thought of having one before, but I'm definitely, definitely thinking so about it. So what about it. an American one like this? Not what I'd normally go for, but looking at it, it's, it is nice. It's a mean machine, isn't it? It is not, and I'd imagine big American, big engine. Huge engine and a huge V8. V8. Downside on that is fuel consumption. Mm, yeah, I'd have... yeah, but we'll have to see. We'll, <laughs> well the other see. two we've got are diesel, so let's go and have a look at one of those first. And the second is the Mitsubishi L200. Which I like. You like these, do you? I do. These have been a big success since they launched them about three or four years ago. Yeah, you see a lot of them around, yeah. and first off, I think this would have to be the one I would go for. High on the list is this one. High on the list, this is what I came for. Yeah, well I think the ones we've picked out for you, they've all got double cabs. Now, is that in important in terms of the interior space, carrying kids It's a family bonus, about? Yeah. it's definitely a bonus. Um, at least you can use it at the weekends, take it's the kids. Vehicle, it's an all-round it? vehicle, plus it's got some grunt, it's got some loading space for yeah. me at work. It's an all-rounder. And the other option you can have on these is the sort of chrome bars around the back with the lights on the top. Fancy that? Yeah, definitely, definitely. <laughs> you want uh, the works? I want the works. They would have to go on, like you say, spotlights, maybe some on the front. Yeah. Um, yeah. Every, okay, have a look at the third one we've picked out for you, Seb. And it's this, it's the Toyota Hilux, or Truckman as it's otherwise known. What do you think of it? I like it. Do you? I like it very much. They've um, transformed it, reshaped it, it looks brilliant. I mean, they've got a long and, you know, very prestigious history with building pickup trucks Toyota. I mean, they're very reliable, that's for sure. That plays a big part in it. I mean, being a builder, you need reliability. You don't want this Can't thing to go wrong, do you? Yeah, Absolutely. No. And also, this has got the added benefit of the, the hard top on the back, too. That is a good benefit. Um, I like that. Huge amount it's of luggage space, and luggage. it's all, you know, it's lockable as well, so it's very secure. Yep, yeah, and you can take it off. That's brilliant. It's, uh... Most important thing, really, is how it drives, so um, jump in. <laughs> Seb, this is the Toyota Hilux. Yep. What do you think of it inside? Do you like the interior? Um, it's. I thought it would be more like a car, but it it is what it is. It's a it's it's a pickup. It's, yeah, it is. At the end of the day, I can't think of it as a car. I need it for work, so no, it's it's fine. I mean, at least these days, you know, they do make pickups better in terms of the interior and what you actually get for your money. I mean. Gone are the days when you get a pickup truck and there was nothing in it at all and you could almost hose the interior down. Oh, you? yeah. I mean, it's, it's got electric wind. It's got all the mod cars yeah, on it. Yeah, it's got the window, it's got the CD, it's got the air conditioning. Yeah, I um, don't know about sticking a hose pipe in it though. But... <laughs> Not these days, no. It's quite no. a bouncy um, bouncy ride. I mean, that's obviously probably so due to the seats are comfortable, though, yeah. so it's... It's a four-wheel drive, of course, this as well, so you can, you can change the ratios on the gearbox. It's 2.5 turbo diesel engine. Yeah, I mean, when I pulled away, it seemed plenty of paper. Quite a reasonable so, performance, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, not too bad at all. So, yeah. The only thing we were saying before about the fact that this has got a hard top on the back, but the downside to that is the rear visibility is terrible, isn't it? You can't see a thing. You can't see don't anything Take yet. that away, don't you? <laughs> it's useless, isn't yeah. it? Mirrors Sounds are good. great in theory, yeah. but um, maybe not, not in practice, or not all the time, maybe. All the time you've got that back on, no. You, know, you might as well not no, have sure. it. Well, here's Richard Hammond now with a lowdown on the Toyota Hilux. The least ostentatious, shall we say, of our three offerings today, the Toyota Hilux. It's been around for centuries, so there's loads of them knocking about to choose from. It is very traditionally constructed. It's a proper old farmer's friend, so it's a real chassis with the body bolted on top. That means it will be very, very solid, though it's not very sophisticated. It's leaf sprung at the back, but then most trucks are because it's very, very sturdy. It'll carry a lot of loads. 
It's certainly not designed to set the world on fire visually. It's not really one for posing up and down the high street, both outside and in. The interior is a rather bland Japanese interior, but it has a well-proven four-wheel drivetrain. It's been used for years, it won't go wrong. 2.4-litre turbo diesel power, which is more than enough to get you into and out of trouble. And if what you want is a reliable truck, there is a reliable truck. The Toyota Hilux is available with either a 2.4 litre engine or a 2.5 turbo diesel. Again, you can get it as a single, a crew or even a double cab. Use examples of the previous one we found include a Hilux double cab. It's on a 51 plate, so it's very fresh with just 10,000 miles up, 16,500 quid.